Okay, it's been a while coming. I thought to myself, should I make this video, should I not? Am I sure, am I not sure? Well, it's about time I tell you guys the mind-blowing question. What happened to the Sergio Show? First of all, the Sergio Show is an animated internet series on the Cartoonist Man channel that started back all the way of the magical year of 2008. That stars me as a cartoon in a series, and I pretty much do anything I want in the animated world. Mostly I just try to use the show to satirize animation and anything around it. So what has happened to the show now? Let's go back to May of 2014. The 100th episode of my show has been around for 6 months and has gained around 5,000 views. All of a sudden, within that week, everything started to grow rapidly for me. Comments, subscribers, and views just flowed in. In one week, the 100th episode went from almost 5,000 views to almost 16,000 views. It was an amazing personal achievement for me. Is... is this fame? Is it... is it almost Springboard Borderline almost fame? Because if it's so... I enjoy this... a lot. It was all just so exciting for me. It just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And before you know it, one of my videos got taken down and I had to personally take down all of my episodes of the Sergio Show. I don't want to go into detail on why that happened, but I'll just say this. Copyright reasons. Six years of animation that I've worked on just gone. <sighs> But I knew it was not a time to give up. During that time, I made 5 original cartoons and was working on 10 new episodes of The Sergio Show. All the while, I had some damage control. I had to edit all 100 episodes of my show with any copywritten material content removed, leaving episodes incomplete, confusing, and pretty much unwatchable. Let me give you a visual example of what I'm talking about. This image collage chart thingy represents all 100 episodes of my show in its original form, in its original channel, from 2008 to early 2014. This is what's happened to the show after mid-2014 to at this moment, plus 15 episodes and counting, in its very own channel. I'm not proud of it, but it's something I need to quickly do to help retain my reputation of the show. But don't worry, the first 100 episodes of The Sergio Show in their original form still exist and they're saved somewhere locked inside The Sergio Vault, all nice and safe and brutally locked away. Will the original episodes ever come back? As of this recording, unfortunately no. The internet's copyright system is too unsafe for my episodes, so sorry. Not yet. Since then, I moved on and made brand new episodes of The Sergio Show, with some exceptions. First, the runtime of the show has changed from the average 7 to 10 minutes to 5 to 7 minutes max. It has always been a personal goal of mine to make around 100 animated 10 minute cartoons by myself. And since I've achieved that goal, I'm ready to comfortably make cartoons with a runtime that I'm comfortable with for now. Second, some formats of the show have been changed. Like I said, before the Sergio show is a place where I can do anything I want in the animation world, I sometimes experiment with that. The types of episodes the show used to have are internet cartoon reviews, song parodies, and time travel. That's 40% of the series, but that's gone now, so to continue the series, I've used new and different format episodes, such as new character introduction and sequel episodes, world building episodes, meaning an episode where Sergio goes to an area, mainly in Toon City, where the show takes place, and many more, so stay tuned for that, please. The third one is a big one, creation and rebranding. With the Sergio show still being the most successful thing I've ever made, I decided to make a channel of its own back in late 2013. And the show was going to transition there, but with what happened in 2014, it transitioned quick. For now, are the old edited first 100 episodes of The Sergio Show that are on that channel, along with brand new continued episodes of the show too. Another thing I need to mention are the post 100 episodes of The Sergio Show. To maintain the video's website's copyright guidelines, I not only can show or mention any copywritten properties or content, but I've personally made even more my own production content. Meaning, not only I've made my own animation on the show, like I always do, but I also made my own music and sound effect. The music one is really tough, as I'm not that good of a music maker person. Why well, just take a look at my amazing musical sample. So beautifully terrible. Another big change is I had to change the first original channel and remove the Cartoonist Man channel's name. 
I started the channel all the way back in 2008. I just uploaded whatever. Random cartoons I've made, the Sergio show, some high school and college video projects, and so on and so forth. But since I had to delete 200 of my videos, 100 of them being the Sergio show, I had left my channel with little identity. My videos that have been left there are just update videos and small production videos. So with that in mind, with everyone branding their channels these days, the name has been changed from the Cartoonist Man to Sergio Studios. Extra. It will be a channel that will have behind the scenes and production videos about my show along with any other projects that I'm currently working on. With the Cartoonist Man name gone, I didn't want to completely get rid of it, since it was the name that started off my video making and animation legacy. So I just took that name and gave it its own brand new fresh channel, with possible new content coming soon from that channel. I'm thinking about making time lapse videos of me drawing random cartoons, non copywritten of course. So here's how it's going to go down. The Sergio Show channel will have old edited and brand new episodes of my popular series, The Sergio Show. Sergio Studios channel will have animated shorts and content that is not The Sergio Show, but may have some Sergio Show related material. Sergio Studios Extra will have production content of my animated projects, and I have two other channels that I'm also working on, and seeing where I can go from there. So if you wanna, I don't know, if you haven't already, please subscribe to these channels, you know, if you want to, please. Okay, so here's what you got you, Brandon. I feel like the Sergio Show needs some serious branding, so it's part of a couple social networks and its own website to acknowledge that the show exists, along with additional information available. But I'll see how that goes. In conclusion! Ah, oh, finally, the home stretch. What has happened to the Sergio Show? Answer copyright reasons, branding, and some other third thing. In the end, I love making this show, and I love all the fans who have been or are going to enjoy this show and what's going to happen to it in the future! Thank you fans for your support, and I really, really appreciate it. You've just been great about my work. I mean, just look at my amazing The Sergio Show fan art wall. A wall that is full of great The Sergio Show fan art made by some amazing fans. <laughs> I know it's not going to be easy, but I really want The Sergio Show to last as long as possible. And I just love it. I know I can do this. We can do this. This show has so many possibilities. Together, this show can be the greatest thing in animation history. <laughs> <sighs> sleeping is great. Mm, sleeping is the best thing ever. Uh, why do things when you can just sleep? <laughs> what? Oh, what? What the? Oh, oh yeah. That's that's right. I I, I gotta finish this video. Yeah. So, that's all I have to say for now. Questions, comments, anything else, you know what to do down below. Thank you very, very much for listening. I hope you guys understand. Just, just thank you. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day.